the Ministry of Education and Training, Vietnam Education Publishing House, English 6, Book 1, Unit 1, My New School. Getting Started, Activity 1, Listen and Read. Oh, someone's knocking at the door. Hi, V. You're early. Fom's having breakfast. Hi, Mrs. Wynn. Oh, dear. I'm sorry. I'm excited about our first day at school. <laughs> I see. Please come in. Hi, Fom. Are you ready? Yes. Just a minute. Oh, I have a new friend. This is we. Hi, Zwi. Nice to meet you. Hi, Fo. Nice to meet you too. I live here now. I go to the same school as you. That's good. School will be great. You'll see. Hmm. Your school bag looks heavy. Yes, it is. I have new notebooks, a new calculator and new pens. And you're wearing the new uniforms, we. You look smart. Thanks, Fum. Let me put on my uniform too. Then we can go. Sure, Fum. Activity 2. Listen and read the following poem. Get up, Nam. Get up, Nam. You're going back to school. Your friends are going back to school too. The new school year starts today. You've got nice shoes. You've got new pens. Your friends are on their way. Activity 3. Match the words with the school things. Then listen and repeat. A. Bicycle. B. Pencil sharpener. C. Calculator. D. Rubber. E. Compass. F. Notebook. G. Ruler. H. Textbook. I. Pencil case. J. School bag. A closer look. One. Activity. One. Listen and repeat the words. Physics. Exercises. English Vocabulary History Football Homework Lessons Judo Music School lunch. Science. A closer look, one. Activity five. Listen and repeat. Pay attention to the sounds O and A. Uh. One. O. Oh. 
Judo. Going. Homework. Open. Two. A. Brother. Monday. Mother. Month. A closer look. One. Activity six. Listen to the words and put them into two groups. Some. Road. Don't. Hope. Monday. Homework. Month. Come. Post. One. A closer look. One. Activity seven. Listen and repeat. Underline the sounds O and A、uh, you hear. One. They are going to open a new library. Two. I'm coming home from school. Three. His brother eats lunch in the school canteen. Four. The new school year starts next month. Five. My brother is doing his homework. Six. He goes to the judo club every Sunday. A closer look to activity five. Listen to part of the conversation from getting started again. Then find and underline the present continuous form. Oh, someone's knocking at the door. Hi, V. You're early. Fom's having breakfast. Skills two. Listening. Activity one. Susie is a student at PLC Sydney. Listen. And choose the correct answers. Hi, my name's Susie Brewer. I'm eleven years old. I'm now in Grade Six at PLC Sydney. I like it here, as I like to study in a girls' school. The teachers at my school are nice and very helpful, and my favourite teacher is Mrs. Susan McKeith. She teaches us maths. I have three hours to study Vietnamese in the afternoon. Usually, I do my homework at break time. We wear our uniform every day, but today we aren't, as we're going to have an outing to Taronga Zoo. Looking back, activity three. Listen. Then write down the words you hear in the correct places. Play music. Do homework. Study new words. Have a new book. Do morning exercise. 
Play badminton. Have English lessons. Study geography. Play sports. The Ministry of Education and Training, Vietnam Education Publishing House, English Six, Book One, Unit Two, My Home. Getting started. Activity One. Listen and read. Wow, that room looks so big, Nick. I can see there's a TV behind you. Yes, I'm in the living room. Can you see my dog Luke? He's sitting on the sofa. Yes, I can. He looks happy. <laughs> He is. Your room looks nice too. Where do you live, me? I live in a townhouse. It's near the city centre, and it's very noisy. How about you? Where do you live? I live in a country house. Who do you live with? I live with my father, mother, and younger brother. We are moving to an apartment next month. Are you? Yes, we are. My aunt lives near there, and I can play with my cousin V. Are there many rooms in your new apartment? Yes, there are. There's a living room. Three bedrooms, a kitchen, and two bathrooms. The kitchen is next to the living room. Nick. Oh, that's my mum. I'd better go. It's dinner time. Bye. See you soon. A closer look. One. Activity three. Listen, and repeat the words. Can you add any more words to the list? Living room, lamp, sofa, picture, table, bedroom, bed. Lamp, picture, chest of drawers, kitchen, fridge, cupboard, cooker, table. Dishwasher, chair, bathroom, bath, sink, toilet, hall, picture. A closer look. One. Activity five. Listen, and repeat the words. Lamps. Posters. Sinks. Fridges. Tables, wardrobes, toilets, beds. 
A closer look. One. Activity six. Listen again, and put the words in the correct column. Lamps. Posters. Sinks. Fridges. Tables. Wardrobes. Toilets. Beds. A closer look. One. Activity eight. Listen to the conversation, and repeat. Pay attention to z, s, and is at the end of the words. Then practice the conversation with a partner. Mum, are you home? Yes, honey. I'm in the kitchen. I've bought these new dishes and chopsticks. They're beautiful, Mum. Where did you buy them? In the department store near our house. There are a lot of interesting things for the home there. We need some pictures for the living room, Mum. Do they have pictures in the store? No, they don't. But there are some ceiling lights. We are buying two for the new apartment this week. We also need two new vases, Mum. That's true. Let's go to the store this weekend. Skills two. Activity one. Nick's parents are describing their room at the hotel. Listen, and draw the furniture in the correct place. Nick's staying in the tiger room. We're staying in the bear room. There's a big bear near the door. The bear is actually a fireplace. In the far corner, there is a window. The shelves are right in front of it. Next to the shelves is a big bed. There's a wardrobe next to the bed. Oh, there are also two other windows in the room. In front of these windows, there's a sofa, a table, and two stools. We like the room because it's comfortable. The Ministry of Education and Training, Vietnam Education Publishing House, English Six, Book One, Unit Three. My friends, getting started. Activity One. Listen and read. This is a great idea, Zoom. I love picnics. Me too, Foot. I think Lucas likes them too. <laughs> Lucas is so friendly. Can you pass me the biscuits, please? Yes, sure. Thank you. What are you reading, Foot? Fourteen. It's my favourite magazine. Oh look, it's my. And she's with someone. Oh, who's that? She has glasses, and she has long black hair. I don't know. They're coming over. Hi, Fook. Hi, Zung. This is my friend Chow. Hi, Hi Chow. Chow. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Nice to meet you too. Would you like to sit down? We have lots of food. Oh, sorry. 
We can't. It's time to go home. This evening, we are working on our school project. Sounds great. I'm going to the judo club with my brother. How about you, Foot? I'm visiting my grandma and grandpa. OK, see you later. Bye. Bye. Getting started. Activity 3. Choose the adjectives in the box to complete the sentences. Look for the highlighted words. Listen, check and repeat the words. 1. Mina is very creative. She likes to draw pictures. She always has lots of new ideas. 2. Two is kind. He likes to help his friends. Three. Minduk is confident. He isn't shy. He likes to meet new people. Four. Kim is very talkative. She's always on the phone, chatting to friends. 5. Mai is clever. She understands things quickly and easily. A closer look, 1. Activity one. Match the words with the pictures on the cover page of 14 magazine. Listen, check and repeat the words. Arm Ears Elbow Eyes Face Foot Fur Glasses Hand Head Knee Leg Mouth Neck Nose Tail Tooth Cheek Finger Shoulders A closer look 1. Activity 3. Listen and repeat. Picnic Biscuits Blonde Black Big Patient A closer look, one. Activity four. Listen and circle the words you hear. One. We often play badminton in the afternoon. Two. Are you singing in that band? 
three. Her ponytail is so cute. Four. He has a brown nose. Five. Let's have another picnic this weekend. Six. She's got such a pretty daughter. A closer look one. Activity five. Listen. Then practice the chant. Notice the rhythm. We're having a picnic. We're having a picnic. Fun, fun, fun. We're bringing some biscuits. We're bringing some biscuits. Yum, yum, yum. We're playing together. We're playing together. Hurrah, hurrah, hurrah. A closer look. One. Activity seven. Foop. Zoom. And Mai are talking about their best friends. Listen and match. Hi, my name's Foop. My best friend has a round face and short hair. He isn't very tall, but he is kind and funny. I like him because he often makes me laugh. Hello, I'm Zoom. My best friend is Lucas. He has a brown nose. He is friendly. I like him because he's always beside me. Hi, my name's Mai. My best friend has short, curly hair. She is kind. She writes poems for me, and she always listens to my stories. A closer look. One. Activity eight. What are the missing words? Write is or has. Listen again and check your answers. My best friend has a round face and short hair. He isn't very tall, but he is kind and funny. I like him because he often makes me laugh. My best friend is Lucas. He has a brown nose. He is friendly. I like him because he's always beside me. My best friend has short, curly hair. She is kind. She writes poems for me, and she always listens to my stories. A closer look too. Activity one. Listen again to part of the conversation. I don't know. They're coming over. Hi, Fook. Hi, Zung. This is my friend Chow. Hi, Hi Chow. Chow. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Nice to meet you too. Would you like to sit down? We have lots of food. Oh, sorry. We can't. It's time to go home. This evening. We are working on our school project. Sounds great. I'm going to the judo club with my brother. How about you, Foot? I'm visiting my grandma and grandpa. Skills two. Listening. Activity one. What do you see in the photos? Choose the words in the box. To fill in the table, then listen and check. A. Hiking. B. Taking part in a cooking competition. C. Skiing. D. V. 
visiting a milk farm. E. Taking part in an art workshop. F. Riding a bike. G. Taking a public speaking class. H. Playing beach volleyball. I. Playing traditional games. Skills 2. Listening. Activity 3. Listen to Mr. Lee, the camp leader, talking on the phone with Fup's parents. What are they doing on day two and day three at the camp? So, how was the first day? It was good. Today we had a bike ride to the mountains and visited a Zhao people village. Interesting. How about tomorrow? Are you going somewhere? Oh, yes. Tomorrow morning, we're having a treasure hunt. In the afternoon, we're visiting a milk farm to see how milk and butter are made. After that, we're opening the public speaking class. The kids are talking about their favourite country in the world. That's fun! And on the third day? Oh, that's something special. There's the World Foods Festival at the camp in the morning when the kids compete for prizes. That's our Kids Cook contest. They're cooking their own unique dish. And in the afternoon, we're having a big party by the pool. Really? Sounds great. Review 1 Page 37 Listening Activity 4 Anne and me are talking on the phone. Listen and circle the parts of the house you hear. Me? Are you at home alone? No. Everybody is at home. Where's your mum? Is she cooking in the kitchen? No. She's watering the plants in the garden. And where's your dad? He's in the living room. What's he doing? He's listening to the radio. What about your younger brother? Is he with your mum? No. He's sleeping in my bedroom. My cousin V is here too. What's she doing? She's watching TV. Review 1. Page 37. Listening. Activity 5. Listen again and answer the questions. Me? Are you at home alone? No. Everybody is at home. Where's your mum? Is she cooking in the kitchen? No. She's watering the plants in the garden. And where's your dad? He's in the living room. What's he doing? He's listening to the radio. What about your younger brother? Is he with your mum? No. He's sleeping in my bedroom. My cousin V is here too. What's she doing? She's watching TV. The Ministry of Education and Training Vietnam Education Publishing House English 6 Book 1 Unit 4 My Neighbourhood Getting Started Exercise 1 Listen and Read Wow! We're in Hoi An! I'm so excited! Me too! Yes, it's so historic! So, where shall we go first? Let's go to Chua Cao. 
Well, the map says Tan Ki House is nearer. Shall we go there first? Okay, okay sure. sure. Shall we go by bicycle? No. Let's walk there. Hmm. Okay. First cross the road, turn right, and then go straight. Okay. Let's go. Wait. What's up, Fom? Where are we now? I think we're lost. Oh, no. Look, there's a girl. Let's ask her. Excuse me. We're lost. Can you tell us the way to Tan Ki House? Tan Ki House? Keep straight, then turn right. But it's quicker to turn right here, then turn left. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Nick, let's hurry. Getting started. Activity 3. Match the places below with the pictures. Then listen, check and repeat the words. 1. E. Square. 2. H. Palace. 3. F. Cathedral. 4. C. Memorial. 5. G. Art Gallery. 6. A. Statue. 7. B. Railway Station. 8. D. Temple. A Closer Look 1. Activity 1. Fill in each blank with one word from the box. Listen, check and repeat the words. 1. Kua La is a fantastic beach. 2. I love it here. Everything I want is only five minutes away. It's so convenient. 3. Life in the countryside is boring. There aren't many things to do there. 4. The air in the area is polluted with smoke from factories. 5. Hoi An is a historic city with a lot of old houses, shops, buildings and theatres, etc. 6. The street is very narrow with a lot of traffic so we can't move fast. 7. Now there are many new shops near here, so the streets are busy and noisy during the day. A Closer Look 1 Activity 4 Listen and repeat the words. Pay attention to the sounds E and I. Exciting. Cheap. Historic. Sleepy. Expensive. Convenient. Peaceful. Police. Noisy, friendly. Now, in pairs, put the words in the correct column. A Closer Look 1, Activity 5. Listen to the sentences and circle the words you hear. 
One. Tommy is living there. Two. Shall we heat the oil first? Three. This aeroplane seats a hundred people. Four. There's a sheep over there. Five. Jimmy is finding some tins now. Six. Peter bought a mill last week. Seven. Some teams are coming in. Eight. It is a fish and chip shop. A closer look. One. Activity six. Listen, and practice the chant. Notice the sounds e and i. My neighbourhood. My city is very busy. There are lots of buildings growing. The people here are funny. It's a lovely place to live in. My village is very pretty. There are lots of places to see. The people here are friendly. It's a fantastic place to be. Communication. Activity one. Nick is listening to an audio guide to Hoi An. Listen and fill in the gaps. Welcome to Hoi An. Hoi An is famous for its historic buildings, shops, pagodas, and houses. They're older than in other cities in Vietnam. The streets are very narrow, so it is more convenient to walk there. Okay, let's start our tour. First, go to Quan Kong Temple. To get there, walk straight for five minutes. The temple is on your left. Second, go to the Museum of Sa Huynh Culture. Take the second left. Turn right, and it's on your right. Then, have lunch at Cafe Ninety Six. Its cao lao and ban vac are very good. Turn left, and take the second turning on your right. Finally, go to Hua Nhop. Workshop to buy presents for your friends. Turn left, then turn right. The workshop is next to Tan Ki House. Skills two. Listening. Activity one. Listen to the conversation between a stranger and Zui's dad. Fill in the blanks with the words you hear. Excuse me, where is the supermarket? Go to the end of this street. It's on your right. And where is the lower secondary school? It's in Lezuan Street. Take the second right, and it's on your left. Great. Where can I have some coffee? Quin Cafe in Trang Quang Zhu Street is a good one. How can I get there? First turn left, then turn right. Go straight. It's on your left. How about an art gallery? First take the third left, then go to the end of Leloi Street, and it's on your right. 
Skills two. Listening. Activity two. Listen to the conversation again. Choose the correct places from the list below. Write the correct letters A to F on the map. Excuse me, where is the supermarket? Go to the end of this street. It's on your right. And where is the lower secondary school? It's in Lazwan Street. Take the second right, and it's on your left. Great. Where can I have some coffee? Quin Cafe in Trang Quang Zhu Street is a good one. How can I get there? First turn left, then turn right. Go straight. It's on your left. How about an art gallery? First, take the third left, then go to the end of Leloy Street, and it's on your right. The Ministry of Education and Training, Vietnam Education Publishing House, English Six, Book One, Unit Five, Natural Wonders of the World, Page Forty-Eight, Getting Started, Activity One, Listen and Read. Hello, welcome to Geography Club. Sorry, can I come in? I went to the wrong room. No problem. We're just starting now. Today, I'm going to introduce some natural wonders of the world to you. Great. What's that in the first picture? It looks incredible. Yes. Is it a red mountain? Well, that's Ayers Rock. It's in the middle of Australia. Local people call it Uluru. Can you spell that, please? Sure. It's U L U R U. Thank you. It's not the highest mountain in Australia, but it's the most beautiful. Its colour changes at different times of the day. People think it's best in the evening when it is red. I want to visit Ayers Rock one day. Picture two is Halong Bay, isn't it? Well done, Nick. That's right. What else do you know? It's in Vietnam, of course. <laughs> yes, it is. There are many islands there. This picture shows Tuan Chau. It's one of the largest islands. How about picture three? Unit five, page forty-nine. Getting started. Activity two. Listen, and repeat the following words. One. Mountain. Two. River. Three. Waterfall. Four. Forest. Five. Cave. Six. Desert. Seven. Lake. Eight. Beach. Nine. Island. Ten. Valley. Unit five. Page fifty. A closer look. One. Activity four. Listen, and number the words you hear. 
best. Boat. Coast. Lost. Boot. Desert. Plaster. Forest. Unit 5. Page 50. A Closer Look 1. Activity 5. Listen again and repeat the words. Best. Boat. Coast. Lost. Boot. Desert. Plaster. Forest. Unit 5. Page 50. A Closer Look 1. Activity 6. Listen and repeat. Pay attention to the bold typed parts of the words. 1. Swimming in the sea in summer is best. 2. Ha Long Bay has the nicest scenery in Vietnam. 3. The Amazon rainforest is in Brazil. 4. One day I want to see Ayers Rock. 5. The Sahara is the hottest desert in the world. 6. I want to explore the coast by boat. Unit 5, page 51. A closer look to activity 2. Listen to V giving the answers to the quiz. Check your guesses. OK, everyone. Number 1. Mount Everest is the highest mountain in the world. That's true. Number 2. Barbe Lake is the largest lake in Vietnam. That's also true. Number 3. Niagara Falls is the highest waterfall in the world. That is true. Oh, wait. Sorry. That's false. Next. Number 4. Chaco Beach is the longest beach in Vietnam. Is true. Now number 5. The Amazon is the widest river in the world. That is true. But the longest river is the Nile. Finally, the Sahara is the hottest desert in the world. That is true too. Unit 5, page 55. Skills 2, listening. Activity 1. Nick's family are in the travel agents. They want to go on holiday. They are choosing a place from the brochure above. Which place do they choose? We have some great deals. I recommend Halong Bay, Hue, Moine, or Nachang. Wow! I love the beach. Can we go to Moine, Mum? Well, let's think, Nick. Can I see a picture of the hotel in Moine? Yes, here you are. Which is cheaper, Moine or Halong Bay? Moine is cheaper, but I think Halong Bay is more interesting. Yes, you're right. I think I want to go to Halong Bay. It's better than Moine. Oh. Yes. It's rainy in Moine at this time of year. You must take umbrellas and waterproof coats. OK. Let's book Harlong Bay, please. Unit 5. Page 55. Skills 2. 
activity two. Listen again, and answer the following questions. We have some great deals. I recommend Halong Bay, Hue, Moine, or Nachang. Wow, I love the beach. Can we go to Moine, Mum? Well, let's think, Nick. Can I see a picture of the hotel in Moine? Yes, here you are. Which is cheaper, Moine or Halong Bay? Moine is cheaper, but I think Halong Bay is more interesting. Yes, you're right. I think I want to go to Halong Bay. It's better than Moine. Oh. Yes, it's rainy in Moine at this time of year. You must take umbrellas and waterproof coats. Okay, let's book Halong Bay, please. The Ministry of Education and Training, Vietnam Education Publishing House, English Six, Book One, Unit Six, Our Tet Holiday, Page Fifty Eight, Getting Started, Activity One, Listen and Read. Welcome back to Around the World in Thirty Minutes. Thanks again, Sananta, for telling us about New Year celebrations in Thailand. Next, we have Phong from Vietnam. Hi, Phong. Hi. Your New Year is called Tet, isn't it? That's right. The Vietnamese celebrate Tet at different times each year, don't they? Yes. This year, we will celebrate Tet at the end of January. What should people do to celebrate Tet? A lot. It's the busiest time of the year. What, for example? You should make your house look beautiful at Tet, so you should clean and decorate it. You should also buy flowers and plants, but you shouldn't buy fireworks. Do you travel during Tet? Not often. Tet is a time for family gatherings. Yes, and do you eat a lot? Yes. Eating great food is the best thing about Tet. Oh, and getting lucky money. <laughs> great, thank you, Fong. Coming up, we have Yamiko from Japan. Unit six, page sixty. A closer look one. Activity one. Listen. And repeat the words in the box. A. Wish. B. Fireworks. C. Furniture. D. Present. E. Shopping. F. Tree. G. Flower. H. Relative. I. Pagoda. J. Calendar. K. Special food. Unit six, page sixty. A closer look one, activity five. Listen, and repeat the words. Celebrate. School. Special. 
she shopping spring blossoms should summer wish rice rubbish which words have the sound sh and which words have the sound s listen again and write them in the appropriate columns celebrate school special she shopping spring blossoms should summer wish rice rubbish unit 6 page 61 a closer look 1 activity 6 listen to the sentences and tick which has sh and which has s 1 we come home every summer. Two. We should leave early. Three. I will make a wish. Four. I'm second in my class. Five. My mother goes shopping every day. Six. This is a small garden. Seven. Spring is coming. Unit six. Page 61. A closer look one. Activity seven. Listen and practice reading the short poem. Pay attention to the sounds sh and s. Spring is coming. Tet is coming. She sells peach blossoms. Her cheeks shine. Her eyes smile. Her smile is shy. She sells peach blossoms. Unit 6, page 65. Skills 2, activity 1. My and her mother are going shopping for Tet. Listen and tick the things they will buy. Mum, shall we buy a branch of peach blossoms? Yes, dear. We'll buy a beautiful one. And how many banchung shall we buy? We won't buy banchung, dear. This year we'll make them at home. Wow! I like cooking banchung. I will help you with that. Yes, sure. And I'll buy some new clothes for you and your brother. Thank you, Mum. Shall we buy something for Dad, too? Yes. We'll buy a new tie for him. Should we buy something for Grandma and Grandpa? Yes, of course, dear. 
We will get them some sweets and and some fruit. No, dear, we shouldn't buy fruit. It's too early. We should wait until the thirtieth. Yeah, Mum, and don't forget to buy some chocolate biscuits for us. No, I won't, dear. I will buy you the most delicious biscuits. Unit six, page sixty-five. Skills two, activity two. Listen again, and write the names of the things they will buy for the people in column A. Mum, shall we buy a branch of peach blossoms? Yes, dear. We'll buy a beautiful one. And how many banchung shall we buy? We won't buy banchung, dear. This year we'll make them at home. Wow, I like cooking banchung. I will help you with that. Yes, sure. And I'll buy some new clothes for you and your brother. Thank you, Mum. Shall we buy something for Dad too? Yes. We'll buy a new tie for him. Should we buy something for Grandma and Grandpa? Yes, of course, dear. We will get them some sweets and and some fruit. No, dear, we shouldn't buy fruit. It's too early. We should wait until the thirtieth. Yeah, Mum. And don't forget to buy some chocolate biscuits for us. No, I won't, dear. I will buy you the most delicious biscuits. Unit six, page sixty-six. Looking back, activity four. Tom is asking Fom what children in Vietnam should or shouldn't do at Tet. Listen and fill in the summary. With should, or shouldn't. Fom, should children in Vietnam visit their grandparents? Yes, they should, and they should wish them good health. Do they help decorate their house? Of course, they should. Do they eat much? They do, but they shouldn't, and they shouldn't ask for lucky money either. Should they make a wish? They should, I think. Review two. Page sixty-eight. Activity one. Read these tongue twisters. One. A cheap ship trip. Two. Mister Tongue Twister will list the best forests to visit. Three. We surely shall see the sun shine soon. Review two, page sixty-nine. Skills, listening, activity five. Listen to Mai's family talking to a travel agent about their trip to Singapore. When do they want to go there? Now we have an exciting program for you. So we'll have five days. Not too much shopping. Do you think we can visit somewhere natural? Oh yes. On the first day, you will go to Bukit Timah Nature Reserve. The tallest hill in Singapore is there, isn't it? Yes, it is. Did you read that on our website? Yes, I did. And will we go to Sentosa? Ben and I saw the video on the internet. Of course, you must visit Universal Studios. It's really fun. That's great. We also want to go to Chinatown. You know, it will be Tet holiday then. So you will go at Tet. You must book the air tickets early because it's a busy time of the year. There'll be many festive celebrations, and you'll really enjoy yourselves. Review two, page sixty-nine. Skills, listening, activity six. Listen again. Decide if these sentences are true or false. Now we have an exciting program for you. 
so we'll have five days. Not too much shopping. Do you think we can visit somewhere natural? Oh, yes. On the first day, you will go to Bukit Timar Nature Reserve. The tallest hill in Singapore is there, isn't it? Yes, it is. Did you read that on our website? Yes, I did. And will we go to Sentosa? Bin and I saw the video on the internet. Of course. You must visit Universal Studios. It's really fun. That's great. We also want to go to Chinatown. You know, it will be Tet's holiday then. So you will go at Tet. You must book the air tickets early because it's a busy time of the year. There'll be many festive celebrations and you'll really enjoy yourselves. The Ministry of Education and Training Vietnam Education Publishing House English 6 Book 2 Unit 7 Television Getting started Activity 1 Listen and read What are you doing tonight, Pum? I'm watching my favourite programme, Laughing Out Loud. What is it? It's a show of funny clips. What channel is it on? VTV3. And after that, I'll watch Mr Bean. That's the funny man? Yes. Come and watch it with me. Oh no. I don't like Mr Bean. He's awful. So, we can watch Tom and Jerry. Oh, the cartoon. I like that. Who doesn't? I like the intelligent little mouse Jerry. He's so cool. But Tom's funny too. Stupid, but funny. Yes. Can you give me the newspaper on the desk? Sure. Do you want to check the TV schedule? Yes. Look. Unit 7. Page 8. A Closer Look 1. Activity 1. Write the words or phrases in the box under the pictures. Listen, check your answers, and repeat the words. 1. Newsreader. 2. TV schedule. Three. MC. Four. Viewer. Five. Remote control. Six. Weatherman. Unit 7, page 8. A Closer Look 1, Activity 4. Listen and repeat the words. There. Thanksgiving. Anything. Them. Weatherman. Both. Theatre. Earth. Feather. Neither. Than. Through. Activity 5. Which words in four have th and which have th? 
Listen again and write them in the correct column. There. Thanksgiving. Anything. Them. Weatherman. Both. Theater. Earth. Feather. Neither. Than. Through. Unit 7, page 8. A Closer Look 1, Activity 6. Tongue Twister. Take turns reading the sentence quickly and correctly. The 33 thieves are thinking of how to get through the security. A Closer Look 2 Activity 2 Use one of the question words When How often What Where Who In the box to complete the conversations. Listen and check your answers. Conversation 1 How often do you watch TV? Not very often. Two or three times a week. What do you watch? It depends. But I like game shows best. Conversation 2 Who do you like best in the weekend meeting shows? Sun Bak. He's so funny. Conversation 3 When do you play football? Usually on Saturday or Sunday. Where do you play? In the yard. Skills 2 Activity 1. Listen and tick the correct channel for each programme. And here are some interesting TV programmes for you. The musical Green Green Summer on Channel 1 starts at 8 o'clock. At the same time on Channel 2 is the Red Spotted Squirrel. Home and Garden follows at 8.25. Today you'll learn how to make a house for your dog. Channel 3 offers you a touching film of friendship, The Lonely Giraffe. The film starts at 8.30. After that, you can discover the famous old town of Inca in Peru. However, it comes on quite late, at 10 o'clock. We hope that you can choose a programme for yourself. Enjoy and have a great time! Skills 2 Activity 2 Listen again and tick statements 1 to 5 with T for true and F for false.
And here are some interesting TV programmes for you. The musical Green Green Summer on Channel 1 starts at 8 o'clock. At the same time on Channel 2 is the Red Spotted Squirrel. Home and Garden follows at 8.25. Today, you'll learn how to make a house for your dog. Channel 3 offers you a touching film of friendship, The Lonely Giraffe. The film starts at 8.30. After that, you can discover the famous old town of Inca in Peru. However, it comes on quite late, at 10 o'clock. We hope that you can choose a programme for yourself. Enjoy and have a great time! The Ministry of Education and Training Vietnam Education Publishing House English 6 Book 2 Unit 8 Sports and Games Getting Started Activity 1 Listen and Read Wow! This gym is great! Yeah! I really like coming here. The equipment is modern and the people are friendly. What sports do you do, Jung? Well, I can do a little karate and I play table tennis. Last week, I played with Z and I won for the first time. Congratulations! How often do you do karate? Every Saturday. You're very fit. I'm not good at many sports. I have an idea. You can come to the karate club with me. No, I can't do karate. But you can learn. Will you come with me on Saturday? Well, OK. Great. I'll meet you at the club at 10 a.m. Sure. Where is it? How do I get there? It's Superfit Club on Pham Van Dong Road. Take bus 16 and get off at Hua Bin Park. It's 15 minutes from your house. OK. See you then. Activity 2 Listen and repeat these words and phrases. 1 Boxing Two Fishing Three Aerobics Four Chess Five Table tennis. Six. Karate. Seven. Cycling. Eight. Swimming. Nine. Volleyball. Ten. Tennis. Eleven. Skiing. 
twelve. Running. A closer look, one. Activity one. Listen and repeat these words. One. A ball. Two. Sports shoes. Three. A boat. Four. A skateboard. Five. Goggles. Six. A racket. Seven. Skis. Eight. A bicycle. A closer look, one. Activity four. Listen and repeat. Pay attention to the sounds air and ear. Air. Where. There. Fair. Pair. Prepare. Ear. Hear. Fear. Nearly. Idea. Volunteer. A closer look, one. Activity six. Listen to the sentences and choose the right words. One. Fair play is important in sports. Two. Can you hear me, Mum? Three. I haven't got any idea. Four. The stadium is near the square. Five. Beckham nearly missed the ball. Six. Football fans cheered loudly for their side. Skills two. Activity one. Listen to the passages. Who are they about? Hello, my name's Hi. I love sports. I play volleyball at school, and I often go cycling with my dad at the weekend. But my favourite sport is judo. I practice at the judo club three times a week. My name's Alice. I'm twelve years old. I don't like doing sport very much, but I like watching ice skating on TV. My favourite hobby is playing chess. 
My friend and I play chess every Saturday. Hi, I'm Bill. I'm in Grade 6 at Rosemarick Lower Secondary School. After my lessons, I like to play computer games. The game I like best is Angry Birds. I often play it for half an hour before dinner. I hope that I can create a new kind of computer game in the future. My name's Chung. I've got a lot of hobbies. I like playing the guitar and I love to watch football on TV. I don't do much sport, but I often go swimming with my friends on hot days. Activity 2 Listen to the passages again. Then write true, T, or false. F for each sentence. Hello, my name's Hi. I love sports. I play volleyball at school and I often go cycling with my dad at the weekend. But my favourite sport is judo. I practice at the judo club three times a week. My name's Alice. I'm 12 years old. I don't like doing sport very much, but I like watching ice skating on TV. My favourite hobby is playing chess. My friend and I play chess every Saturday. Hi, I'm Bill. I'm in Grade 6 at Rosemarick Lower Secondary School. After my lessons, I like to play computer games. The game I like best is Angry Birds. I often play it for half an hour before dinner. I hope that I can create a new kind of computer game in the future. My name's Chung. I've got a lot of hobbies. I like playing the guitar and I love to watch football on TV. I don't do much sport, but I often go swimming with my friends on hot days. Activity 3. Listen to the passages again. Fill in each blank to complete the sentences. Hello. My name's Hai. I love sports. I play volleyball at school and I often go cycling with my dad at the weekend. But my favourite sport is judo. I practice at the judo club three times a week. My name's Alice. I'm 12 years old. I don't like doing sport very much, but I like watching ice skating on TV. 
My favourite hobby is playing chess. My friend and I play chess every Saturday. Hi, I'm Bill. I'm in Grade 6 at Rosemarick Lower Secondary School. After my lessons, I like to play computer games. The game I like best is Angry Birds. I often play it for half an hour before dinner. I hope that I can create a new kind of computer game in the future. My name's Chung. I've got a lot of hobbies. I like playing the guitar and I love to watch football on TV. I don't do much sport, but I often go swimming with my friends on hot days. The Ministry of Education and Training Vietnam Education Publishing House English 6 Book 2 Unit 9 Cities of the World Getting Started Activity 1 Listen and Read What nice photos! Have you been to all these places? Yes, I've been to most of them. This is Rio de Janeiro. It's an exciting city, but sometimes it's very hot. Is the weather there hotter than in Sydney? Oh, yes. Sydney isn't so hot. I've been to the beaches there many times with my family. They're the cleanest and most beautiful in the world. Is this London? What bad weather! Yes, we've been there twice. Can you see Big Ben? There are also modern buildings, like this egg-shaped building. And this must be Times Square in New York. Yes, I've never been there. This photo is from my brother. It looks great, doesn't it? A closer look, one. Pronunciation O and I. Activity 3. Listen and write the words you hear in the appropriate column. Then read the words aloud. 1. Cold. Two, sky, three, exciting, four, snow, five, old, Six, high, seven, clothes, eight, fine, nine, hold, Ten. Flight. A closer look. One. Activity four. Listen and repeat. One. New York is an exciting city with many skyscrapers. 2. It's very cold in Sweden in the winter, with lots of snow. 
three. I like looking at tall buildings at night with their colourful lights. Four. Write and tell me how to cook that Thai curry. Five. You can go boating on the West Lake. It's nice. Six. Oxford University is the oldest university in Britain. A closer look to Activity 1. Listen again to part of the conversation. Pay attention to the present perfect. What nice photos! Have you been to all these places? Yes, I've been to most of them. This is Rio de Janeiro. It's an exciting city, but sometimes it's very hot. Is the weather there hotter than in Sydney? Oh, yes. Sydney isn't so hot. I've been to the beaches there many times with my family. They're the cleanest and most beautiful in the world. Is this London? What bad weather! Yes, we've been there twice. Skill 2 Activity 2 Listen and write T, true, or F, false. Sweden's capital city is built on 14 islands and has a 700-year-old history. The oldest part of Stockholm is the Old Town. Here you can visit the Royal Palace, one of Europe's largest and most dynamic palaces. There are about 3,000 people living in the Old Town today and it's a place with cafes, restaurants, shops and museums, including the Nobel Museum. Stockholm is also the city where Nobel Prizes, except for the Nobel Peace Prize, are awarded each year. On the 10th of December, the day when Alfred Nobel died, the Nobel Prize winners receive their awards from the Swedish King. A Nobel Diploma, a medal and 10 million Swedish crowns per prize. Skills 2 Activity 3 Listen again to the talk and fill in the gaps. Sweden's capital city is built on 14 islands and has a 700-year-old history. The oldest part of Stockholm is the Old Town. Here you can visit the Royal Palace, one of Europe's largest and most dynamic palaces. There are about 3,000 people living in the Old Town today and it's a place with cafes, restaurants, shops and museums, including the Nobel Museum. Stockholm is also the city where Nobel Prizes, except for the Nobel Peace Prize, 
are awarded each year. On the 10th of December, the day when Alfred Nobel died, the Nobel Prize winners receive their awards from the Swedish King. A Nobel Diploma, a medal and 10 million Swedish crowns per prize. Review 3, page 36. Language, activity 1. Odd one out. Which underlined sound is pronounced differently in each group? 1. A. Bicycle. B. Exciting. C. Favorite. D. Widely. 2. A. Doctor. B. Opening. C. Gold. D. Postcard. 3. A. Father. B. Earth. C. Both. D. Marathon. 4. A. Fear. B. Repeat. C. Idea. D. Really. 5. A. Hair. B. Fair. C. Prepare. D. Speaker. 6. A. Further. B. Another. C. Leather. D. Author. Listening. Activity 4. Listen to the interview with Nick and fill in the blanks. Nick, have you ever taken part in a sports competition? Yes, I have. A skiing competition. But I didn't win any prizes. Have you ever been to another country? Yes. I am now here in Vietnam. And I've been to Canada too. Have you ever watched a cartoon series? Oh, several. But I like the adventures of Peter Pan best. Thank you, Nick. Listening. Activity 5. Listen to an interview with Fong and complete the answers with information from the listening. Fong. 
Song. Have you ever taken part in a sports competition? Yes, once. I took part in a running race when I was in grade five. Did you win? No, I came second. And have you ever been to another country? Thailand. Yes, Thailand. Okay. Have you ever watched a cartoon series? Yes, wait and see. It's a Russian cartoon about an intelligent rabbit and a wolf. Thank you, Fong. The Ministry of Education and Training, Vietnam Education Publishing House, English Six, Book Two, Unit Ten, Our Houses in the Future. Getting started. Activity One. Listen and read. What are you doing, Fong? I'm drawing my house. Your house? That's a UFO. It looks like a UFO, but it's my house in the future. Where will it be? It'll be in the mountains, surrounded by many tall old trees. What will it be like? It'll be a large house. There'll be twenty rooms in it. Twenty rooms? Wow. Will it be nice? Yes, and it will have solar energy. Fantastic! Which room will you like best? My bedroom, of course. What appliances might you have? I might have a wireless TV so I can watch TV programs from space, or a friendly robot to help me with my home. Sounds great. And how much will? A closer look, one. Activity one. Listen and repeat the appliances in the box. Then put them in the appropriate columns. You may use an appliance more than once. Wireless TV. Automatic dishwasher, modern fridge, automatic washing machine, high-tech robot. A closer look, one. Activity four. Listen to the chants. Write the words with the sounds dr and tr in the table. I'd like to live in the countryside. I'd like to travel in a train along the track. I'd like to drive a tractor. Through the hay, drops of water, little drops of water, drip, 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 dripping from the cottage roof on a rainy day. A closer look to activity four. Listen and read the two poems, then decide. Whether the statements below are T true or F false. In the future, we might go on holiday to the moon. We might stay there for a long time. We might have a great time. We might come home soon. In the future. 
We might live with robots. They might clean our houses. They might wash our clothes. They might not talk to us. Skills two. Activity one. Listen to Nick and Linda talking about their dream houses. Which house would each prefer? Write their names under the correct pictures. Can you tell me about your dream house, Linda? Well, my dream home is a big villa near the coast, with a great view of the sea. It has a swimming pool, and it has a garden too. What kind of garden? A flower garden, you know. And my dream house would be a quiet one. You see, no noise. My dream house is completely different. Really? What is it like? It's an apartment in the city, and it has super cable TV, so I can watch films from other planets. Oh, that sounds great. And I don't need a yard or a garden. In front of the house, I want it to have a nice park view. And at the back, I want it to have a great city view. That sounds interesting too. But I think it'll be. Skills two. Activity two. Listen to the conversation again. What is important to Nick? What is important to Linda? Tick the columns. Can you tell me about your dream house, Linda? Well, my dream home is a big villa near the coast, with a great view of the sea. It has a swimming pool, and it has a garden too. What kind of garden? A flower garden, you know. And my dream house would be a quiet one. You see, no noise. My dream house is completely different. Really? What is it like? It's an apartment in the city, and it has super cable TV, so I can watch films from other planets. Oh, that sounds great. And I don't need a yard or a garden. In front of the house, I want it to have a nice park view. And at the back, I want it to have a great city view. That sounds interesting too. But I think it'll be. The Ministry of Education and Training, Vietnam Education Publishing House, English Six, Book Two, Unit Eleven, Our Greener World. Getting started. Activity One. Listen and read. Hi, Nick. Hello, me. You've bought a lot of things. Yes. We're going on a picnic tomorrow. What are you doing at the supermarket, me? I am buying a loaf of bread. Hey, what's this? It's a reusable shopping bag. Do you always use it? Yes, I do. It's better than a plastic one, because it's made of natural materials. If we all use this kind of bag, we'll help the environment. I see. I'll buy a bag for my mum. Where can I buy it? They sell a lot of these bags at the checkout. Thanks. Are they expensive? 
not at all. By the way, you're also green. You're cycling. You're right. If more people cycle, there will be less air pollution, right? Yes. Oh, look, it's five o'clock already. I have to go now. We have a lot to prepare for the picnic. See you later. See you, Nick. Have a nice time tomorrow. Bye. Getting started. Activity three. Now listen, check, and repeat the answers. One. Soil pollution. Two. Deforestation. Three. Water pollution. Four. Noise pollution. Five. Air pollution. A closer look one. Activity four. Listen to the three R's song and then sing along. Reduce, reuse, recycle, recycle, recycle. Reduce, reuse, recycle. It's so, so simple. Just reduce the noise. And reuse old bottles Recycle broken glass It's so, so simple Now sing along A closer look, one. Pronunciation, ah and a. Ah. Activity five. Listen and repeat. Pay attention to how the underlined part is pronounced. Fast. Had. Bag Plastic Glass Apple Dance Answer Activity Afternoon A closer look, one. Activity 6. Listen again and put the words in the correct column. Fast. Had. Bag. Plastic. Glass. Apple. Dance. Answer. Activity. Afternoon. A closer look, one. Activity eight. Listen to the conversation and check your answers. Practice the conversation with a classmate. What do these three R's stand for, me? They stand for reduce, reuse and recycle. Our class is organising a writing contest. We have to write about the environment. 
I see. Why don't you write about the three R's? That's a good idea. I will ask my father for ideas. Yes, he works at the Green Company, so he'll give you a lot of information. A closer look, too. Listen again to part of the conversation from getting started. Pay attention to the conditional sentences. Type 1. Yes, I do. It's better than a plastic one because it's made of natural materials. If we all use this kind of bag, we'll help the environment. I see. I'll buy a bag for my mum. Where can I buy it? They sell a lot of these bags at the checkout. Thanks. Are they expensive? Not at all. By the way, you're also green. You're cycling. You're right. If more people cycle, there will be less air pollution, right? Skills 2. Activity 1. The Three R's Club is looking for a new president. Listen to two students talking about what they will do if they become the president of the club. Put the words or a number in each blank to complete the table. I'm me from class 6A. If I become the president of the Three R's Club, firstly, I'll talk to my friends about putting a recycling bin in every classroom. Then we can reuse or sell the things we have in these bins. Secondly, if we get a lot of money from selling these things, we'll buy energy-saving lights for every class. Finally, I'll organise a few book fairs. There, students can swap their used books. I'm Nam from Class 6E. If I become the president of the club, I'll encourage the students to go to school by bus. It'll be fun and save the environment. Next, I will set up a gardening group. We can grow flowers in our school garden. Finally, I'll organise some uniform fairs. There, students can swap their used uniforms with younger or older students. The Ministry of Education and Training Vietnam Education Publishing House English 6 Book 2 Unit 12 Robots Getting Started Activity 1 Listen and Read Good morning Dr Alex can you tell us something about robots, please? Yes, of course. What do you think about the role of robots in the past? Well, in the past they had a minor role. They could only do very simple things. What can they do now? Now they can do quite a lot. Home robots can do the housework. Doctor robots can help sick people. Can they build a house? Yes, they can. Worker robots can even build big buildings. Can they teach? Yes, teaching robots can teach in classes. What do you think robots will be able to do in the future? Well, I think they will play a very important role. 
they will be able to do many things like humans. Will they be able to talk to us? Sure, they will. But they won't be able to do things like play football or drive a car. Getting started. Activity 2. Match the activities with the pictures. Then listen, check and repeat the phrases. 1. C. Do the laundry. 2. D. Make the bed. 3. A. Cut the hedge. 4. B. Do the dishes. A closer look one. Activity one. Match the verbs in column A to the words or phrases in column B. Then listen, check and repeat the words or phrases. One. Recognize matches C. Our faces. Two, make, matches, A, coffee. Three, understand, matches, B, what someone says. Four, lift, matches, E, heavy things. 5. Guard matches D. The house. A closer look 1. Activity 6. Listen and repeat. Pay attention to the sounds oi and ow. Voice. Down, around, house, boy, toy, noisy, flower. Shout, boil. Now, in pairs, put the words in the correct column. Voice, down, around. House, boy, toy, noisy, flower, shout, boil. A closer look, one. Activity seven. Listen to the sentences. Circle the word you hear. One. Did you put oil in the salad? Two. I can see a cow over there. Three. Ouch! You've stepped on my toes. 
four. She took a bow when she finished her song. A closer look, one. Activity eight. Listen and practice the chant. Notice the sounds oi and owl. My robot toy. I've got a robot toy, a robot toy. He can jump up and down. He's such a good boy. Such a good boy is the best toy in my house. I've got a robot toy, a robot toy. He can speak clear and loud. He's got a sweet voice. Got a sweet voice. He's the best toy in my house. Communication. Activity one. Listen to the radio program from 14 News. Then fill in each gap with the word you hear. Welcome to Technology and You. Today we ask our friends around the world to tell us about their robots. Firstly, Tommy from Sydney, Australia. The robot I have can understand some words I say. It can comb my hair and help me get dressed. However, it can't clean my shoes because it can't bend over. Secondly, Lun Tran from Hanoi, Vietnam. My first robot was an alarm clock. It could wake me up every morning. It could shout, wake up! It could push me out of bed. It helped me to get to school on time. Finally, Nubita from Tokyo, Japan. My future robot will be able to help me do the gardening. It will be able to water the plants. It will be able to cut the hedge too. Skills 2 Activity Two. Fong, V, Mi, and Yui are working in a group. They are discussing what robots will be able to do in the future. Listen to their discussion and find out which person says what. Some people think in the near future, robots will be able to do all of our work. What do you think about this, V? I agree. I think we will live comfortably then. What's your opinion, Zui? I agree with V. I think they will even be able to do dangerous work for us. What about you, Mi? I don't agree, Zui and V. I think if they do all of our work, we will have nothing to do. I agree with you, me. Robots won't be able to do all of our work. Yeah, and I think we must be careful with robots because some people will use robots to do bad things. Skills 2 Activity 3 Listen again. Tick which statements are true or false. Some people think in the near future robots will be able to do all of our work. What do you think about this, V? I agree. I think we will live comfortably then. What's your opinion, Zui? I agree with V. I think they will even be able to do dangerous work for us. What about you, me? I don't agree, Zui and V. I think if they do all of our work, we will have nothing to do. I agree with you, me. Robots won't be able to do all of our work. Yeah, 
And I think we must be careful with robots because some people will use robots to do bad things. Review 4, page 68. Language, activity 1. Circle the word with the different underlined sound. Listen, check and repeat the words. One. A. Calm. B. Hand. C. Plastic. D. Cat. Two. A. Town. B. Cow. C. Snow. D. How. Three. A. Hat. B. Many. C. Bad. D. Apple. Four. A. Bought. B. Couch. C. Sound. D. Mouth. Five. A. Banana. B. Camera. C. Fantastic. D. Passenger. Review 4. Page 69. Listening. Activity 5. Listen and tick what people from Youth Eco Parliament advise us to do for our environment. In 2004, 120 young people from 10 European countries met in Berlin at the first Youth Eco Parliament. They gave ideas for improving the environment around us. Here are some of the things they advised us to do. Recycle more rubbish, for example glass, paper and plastic. Pick up rubbish in parks or in the street. Save energy. Turn off lights and TVs when you're not using them. Use reusable bags instead of plastic bags. <laughs> 